Hi, my name is Andrew Serafini. I'm 43 years old. I'm a business owner. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a brother. I'm a husband. And I'm a proud member of my community today. My business trains and educates doctors on natural health products and we travel around the country and uh, in other parts of the world and we educate and train doctors on natural health modalities. But my life wasn't always this rich and full of God. You know, the Bible says that we overcome him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I'm here to testify today that I once was lost, but now I'm found. Uh, in 2012, I, uh, I lost my mom and my mom was my spiritual rock. She taught me unconditional love. She taught me how to love Christ. She taught me how to serve an audience of one. And when her death transpired and she was over medicated by her doctor and, and happy one day and, and literally gone the next, it, uh, it crumbled my world. And um, I, I literally threw everything away. I was living to die. And um, I can clearly remember sitting on my back porch um, at my house and just thinking, wow, I have no passion. I have no zeal for life. I have no existence. Uh, I was riddled uh, with addiction and depression and anxiety, lost and really just had given up. Um, there was no real direction in my life and I just uh, was really hoping uh, that the end would come. And I uh, can clearly remember one evening and I had left my house late at night uh, to go score some drugs and it was about two in the morning and I was uh, shirtless and in, and in shorts and just a, a, a mess. And as I ran across this field and I was gonna uh, jump a fence, I jumped up onto a pillar and uh, in between each pillar was a wrought iron, wrought iron barbs, barbed fence. And I lost my balance and I fell onto that fence and I was hanging uh, from 10 feet in the air, um, screaming in the most immense pain that you can ever imagine. Uh, nobody around and um, it was literally impossible for me to get off of that fence. And so I tried to pull myself up to, to get enough leverage to get off and um, I used all my strength, but I felt something lift me off of that fence. It was, it was the Holy Spirit that literally lifted me off of that fence. And as I, as I was screaming, somebody was driving by and they called an ambulance. And that was really the start uh, of the change of the trajectory in my life. And uh, just to show you a little bit uh, of my injuries here, I know the color is not that great, um, but this, this injury, um, stopped me in my tracks. I lost my phone. I lost all my money and my ability to actually, you know, reach out to those people that I was running with. Um, and it was God's way of really getting my attention. And, um, this was, this was me before, uh, sitting in a wheelchair wrecked and, uh, just, just nothing left. And, um, about five years ago, I, I rededicated my life to God and I, I gave up and I surrendered. And, uh, since then, the Lord has just done an incredible work in my life. Uh, we, my wife and I run several businesses. We've launched several companies and brands. Um, I've paid all my taxes. I've caught up on my child support. Um, I've got a driver's license. I have a vehicle. Um, I was riding a bike and literally had nothing left. And today I sit with doctors and researchers from all around the world and educate them on medicine and on things that they don't really have an understanding of quite yet as, um, Western medicine hasn't really provoked health care, it's provoked sick care. So it's an incredible, incredible life today. And I couldn't be more thankful for the work God is doing. I'm, I'm a Trump team leader. I stand proudly for my country. I'm so thankful that uh, prior to my addiction, I was able to do some incredible things. I served in the Air Force as a fireman and uh, as a medic and uh, all the things of my past, including my addiction, um, which were once weaknesses and which were once downfalls are now my strengths. And I stand in, in the richness of God's mercy and his grace. And I just testify to you today that all things are possible. This is, this is who I am today. And this is only because of God. And as uh, Jim Quick, who's a brain coach, likes to say, I don't say these things to impress, but to express what is possible. All things are possible with God. And so as we step into this season of race riots and pandemics and all things are uncertain and there's this clash between evil and good, my prayer today is that 
we step out and that we stand united as the body of Christ. And if you're struggling and if you've backslidden in God, repent and let's turn our head and our, and our hearts to the Lord and just allow him to unite the body of Christ. And I'm just so thankful as a business owner today, I get to give back, uh, I get to contribute. And, and my daily prayer is that I have hands to heal and that I'm part of the solution. And every day, God blesses me with those two, those two prayers. So thank you for allowing me to share a, a small part of my, of my story. Uh, there's so much more, but this is just a, a snapshot of what God can do. Thank you.